Hey viewer, is the Blues Junior too boxy for you? Today we're gonna try and see if a speaker swap can solve this problem. So Lucas told me he fell out of love with his Blues Junior and had in mind to sell it. So Lucas, tell us about this. Yeah, I was in a local shop here in Vorarlberg, Austria, and I was able to play a Tone Master Deluxe Reverb Amp, and I really liked the sound of it. It felt uh, great playing, and the sound was really, really great in the room, and I enjoyed it a lot. And so I was considering to sell my Blues Tuner because, yeah, there's only this much, uh, this much space in this room here, and I uh, wanted to get rid of one amp when I bought another one. I, I had some issues with the Blues Junior. So what were the main issues? Well, I guess I know a few of them because we were playing a lot together already. Mm -hmm. And yeah, especially with recording, we had problems, right? Yeah, that's one of the main issues. Um, I really didn't enjoy the in the, uh, in the room sound of the Blues Junior. It was kind of boxy, it was really important to be right in front of the amp when you were moving. Um, yeah, it just didn't sound that good. When you were right in front of it, it was sometimes it was too harsh for my taste. Yet yeah, it really was depending on where you are, uh, on your position, and that's one main point for me which I didn't like. And it was also really difficult or is difficult to record uh, a, a convincing in the room sound with it. Yes. And so it was also a problem for us with the jamming. Yeah, absolutely. Because when Martin was playing his JTM through the 2x12 cap, it sounded huge. There was a great sound in the room overall. And when I was trying to play with the Blues Tuner, yeah, it was just not really, uh, yeah, very good audible. It was a very direct sound and just, yeah. We have a video about this, yeah. just a few centimeters away or inches for our American mm -hmm. friends. It's just completely different. It loses the treble. It sounds great when you record it with a, with a stationary mic like the SM57, but just the in the room recording sound, it wasn't good. It, it, yeah, it's, the Blues Junior has that reputation to be boxy and I can confirm that. It sounded Boxy was just not big and full sounding. That's what I didn't like most. Apart from that is the volume of the amp. It is really loud. It has only 15 watts only, but it's extremely loud if you turn it up. I solved that one, that issue with a with an attenuator and that's all right now. But I just didn't like the sound. I wasn't happy with it. And as Martin said, I fell out of love with it. And um, that's why I wanted to sell it and get the Tone Master amp and then I had an idea. I have a Palmer cap with a Celestian Greenback in it and I wanted to play the Blues Junior through the Greenback, through the cap, uh, in order to find out if, if I like it with a Greenback. So we are showing you pretty much the same thing Lucas already showed you in that one video where we tried with the, uh, with the mic placement. So we do the same with the Blues Junior in its original state, mm -hmm. then we plug the Blues Junior into Lucas's Palmer cap and finally we are removing the greenback from the Palmer cap and inserting it into the Blues Junior and see is eventually the construction the problem. Yeah because the, the Blues Junior is much smaller in size compared to the cap Although in the cap there's only the speaker and in the Blues Junior combo there's the amp, there's the reverb tank and the speaker and it's still narrower. Yeah, and the other thing is uh, in the Blues Junior the speaker is not centered in yeah, the cap as well. So it's a little bit off center. Maybe this one makes also a difference. Uh, we're trying to find out what it really is eventually a combination of everything, um, but maybe the speaker swap can help you. For this demo we are using obviously the Blues Junior with the cap or with its own speaker mm -hmm. and 
into the Blues Junior we are using the LPD pedals 68 stacked and and yeah. a ditto looper and a ditto looper we are going we've recorded a loop with the ditto looper right in the 68 stack because mm -hmm. we uh, experienced that some dirt uh, enhances this problem of changing the EQ we yeah. lose way more high end and it's way more noticeable when you're having some dirt on it and that's why we've decided to use an overdrive pedal mm -hmm. for that and for guitars martin played my fender uh, american professional 2 tele deluxe the one you can see maybe in the background or you saw it already in other videos yeah that one exactly just for the sound samples this test Lucas decided we're not putting back the Celestion A type into his Blues Junior. Uh, I hope with the recordings you can hear the difference as well. Mm -hmm. um, for us I think it was pretty obvious in the room. Absolutely. With the stock Blues Junior with the A type speaker it was as before of course yeah and I, we hope it came across on the recording. With the cap it sounded much better, with the greenback in it. And then when we put the greenback in the, in the Blues Junior, here in the room it was not identical but very similar. The cap, the Palmer cap, due to its size, sounded fuller in my opinion. Yeah, it's, you had a little bit more range in my opinion, mm -hmm. where the sound did not change this much. Yeah. From the angle, when moving around. And yeah, it really was mainly the speaker, right? Yeah. Because Absolutely. what you didn't see or hear, we also placed this speaker into the Palmer cap. Mm -hmm. We just uh, forgot to record everything and we didn't yeah, find the energy to set everything back up again when but we it, had the idea. But it wasn't a big difference. It, Again, sounded a bit harsh when you were in front of it. It was yeah, boxy. Yeah, it was a bit boxy. It was still a bit boxy. Yeah. Although the cab is big. Although the cab was bigger, and you also had this extreme drop off of yeah the EQ. Actually, the EQ changed mm -hmm. as well when you moved around yeah. with this A type speaker. So, so what is your verdict of this? What you're gonna do? I'm gonna keep the Blues Junior, I'm gonna keep the Greenback in it and I'm gonna sell this one, the uh, A-Type and need to buy a new speaker for the Palmer cap. <laughs> okay, yeah maybe in some other yeah environment the speaker delivers better, who knows. But and depending on the amp, maybe yeah. it's just not that great sounding, at least in our opinions. Uh, with the Blues Junior. Maybe it works fine for other amps. Yeah, 
and maybe uh, for direct recording. For so someone direct might, recording, it's all right. That someone was might like that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Yeah. But in that case, I, I'm not getting a tone master anytime soon because it's still not enough room to, to get another combo. And yeah, but that's that's definitely fine. I'm I'm happy with the Blues Junior now. I really really enjoy playing it now as it is with the green back and I get the sound I want and it's it's still a great uh, sounding amp by itself and as a pla pedal platform and with that we want to thank you for watching and staying with us and hope you have a great day see you in the next video guys bye bye